Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm sitting down to answer some questions that you guys have left on Shorman Math and I wanna thank Shorman Mathematics for sponsoring today's video. So a while ago, I posted a full review on my channel of Shorman Math uh, because that math program has been such a blessing to our homeschool for the higher level math years. And recently I've been receiving a lot of questions. I also put out another video um, talking about basically the five reasons why you should try Shorman Math. And so I've gathered up several questions that I'm gonna go through and answer for you guys today. If you think of any other questions on Shorman Math, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will come back to them. So I have my phone in hand because I'm actually going to my original video, um, which the thumbnail looks like that. It's my called Shorman Mathematics Full Review Pre-Algebra to High School Math. Um, and so I'm gonna go down into the comment section and read the questions um, that have been left there because chances are if someone has asked this, it is going to be a question that others have as well. So let's see. The first question is, is Shorman Math accredited? Um, no, Shorman Math is not accredited. I don't know why that accredited thing is still a an issue when it comes to homeschooling. You don't need a program to be accredited for your child to receive high school credit and obviously move towards graduation. They obviously will be able to test very well on the ACT or SAT if you're concerned about college based upon the fact that there are 200 SAT and ACT math questions placed in the Shorman math lessons. So it's very college preparatory and um, honestly will prepare your child the best for college. Um, so it's not accredited. I don't know um, still why that is even like a thing within homeschooling, but to answer your question, hopefully that helps. Um, the next question is, if my son is current, currently in eighth grade using teaching textbooks pre-algebra, do you recommend pre-algebra Shorman math for ninth grade? Yes, I would. I would actually first have your child take a placement exam on Dr. Sherman's website. They have that there for you guys. But I will say, based on my own personal experience, teaching textbooks leaves large, large gaps in the understanding of math. And math is very much like a, a structure being built. And if there are any cracks within the structure, the higher you go, the more those cracks reveal themselves. And in my personal experience with my children, it was necessary that they repeat Algebra 1 with Shorman after doing Algebra 1 with teaching textbooks because there were so many gaps and missing pieces. So I would recommend that. Now, if it's a lot of review, maybe your child has, you know, a better understanding or something like that. You can always move through it faster. So take the placement exam to be sure, but I would recommend revisiting the uh, level that you did after teaching textbooks just because uh, that math program, in my opinion and in my experience in my homeschool, is not well done. Um, the next question, what had I been using previously? Just curious. We will wrap up Algebra 1 Saxon 3rd edition by the end of May, and I'm considering Shorman Algebra 2 so he can finish the Algebra 2 and Geometry credit. So I had used Horizon Math in elementary to middle school with my older kids, and then I had them move into teaching textbooks for middle school. And then that was not going well. And then we found Shorman. And since then, they've gone on into Shorman. So that has been the math like programs we've used. For my younger kids, we've used the good and the beautiful math up until um, middle school and then moving into Dr. Shorman. That, that'll be the pathway for my youngest one. My younger son, right above my youngest daughter, he 
did the same thing with Horizons Math, and then we tried Principles of Mathematics, which is from Master Books, I do not recommend, and then I had him take Shorman Mathematics this year, and he did very well in his Algebra One course. So that is what we had um, been using previously. Now, if you don't know, Shorman Math was actually written because of his involvement with the original math text of John Saxon, not the new revised editions, but the originals. And so if you are a lover of the original Saxon method of mathematics, then Shorman will be a smooth <laughs> transition. Um, the next question, can you print out assignments and do them apart from the computer? I understand that you would have to manually enter your answers into the computer once you finish. Uh, we've never done that, so I'm not actually 100% sure on that, but I don't think so. Um, the, pro the problems are on the computer. You could, of course, work them out on paper and enter in your answers later, but I don't think there's a way for you to print out the lesson on paper, um, but I could be wrong. So I just double checked that with my son. He said that you can print out the entire lecture so it's in written form and then you could print out each of the problems and work them out and come back later. Um, but I don't know that it's like all in one like little condensed file. You would probably have to click around to do that. Um, the next question is, um, or actually this is just great feedback. So she says, hello, both my sons have been doing Shorman math for the last two years. My oldest is now enrolled in dual credit and I feel Dr. Shorman taught him more than just math. We love it and have recommended it to friends. Thank you for the great review. I absolutely agree with you. It is so, so wonderful. Um, the next question, really appreciate this. How much reading is there for students who struggle with reading? Does one have to print things often? Is it multiple choice? Okay, there's a bunch of questions here, so let me go through it with you. So how much reading is there for students who struggle with reading? Um, honestly, other than just reading the problems on the screen, there's not really too much reading because Dr. Sherman gives the lecture, so it's um, he does have it where you can read it and you're watching it, but you're also hearing it, so there's that. Uh, you do need to print out your, um, like the handout for the day with any formulas or anything like that, so that is what you have to print. Other than that, you wouldn't really need to print anything. Um, are they multiple choice? Yes, most of the questions are multiple choice. There are some that are just fill in the answer. Um, if a student gets the answer incorrect after all the tries, is there an explained solution or just a reference to where the answer is found? Um, so they will provide the correct answer and then they will also send you to where that an why and where you can find information on how that answer is found. Uh, so that is also super helpful. Uh, let's see. So this question is regarding timing on the lesson. So she says, you mentioned about the time, Shorman, working on math for one and a half to two hours and then they should stop. We've never really had that problem, but a few times I just wanted them to finish the lesson. Um, this is what Dr. Shorman recommends time-wise. So how much time on average do you think your children are doing math four times a week? And then she knows my kids don't do math on Fridays. So I've never, ever, ever had my kids have to break up a lesson. So they do math um, the whole lesson, one lesson a day. Now I know for some kids that might not be feasible or an option, and so that's why Dr. Sherman provides those kind of time constraints, but my kids have always been within a very reasonable amount of time, so I've never had to change that. Um, so yeah, that is, that's been our experience. Um, let's see. Lots of praise. We love Shorman. We love it. We love it. We love it. So now I'm going to move over to Instagram where I do have a few more questions on this 
um, math program. So how easy is it for the parent to use is the first question. So here we have our Instagram questions. It is honestly the easiest math program for a parent to use. My children are almost 100% independent when it comes to math. Again, it is for pre-algebra and up, so the foundation has been laid, and so my kids move through it pretty pretty much independently. Um, I'm only basically verifying and confirming that they're doing what they're supposed to be, and when they are stuck on something, I can kind of help facilitate a helpful way to find that information, but they work through it on their own and it auto grades. So it is such a blessing um, for us. Someone is asking, is it good for math reluctant kids? Yes. Um, I actually in my other video go a little bit more in depth on that, but I really have seen in my own home how Shorman math works well for someone who is very math minded and gifted in math. And then a child who does have to work a little bit more diligently to um, understand it. The next question, is the website easy for students to navigate independently? Yes, the website is very user friendly and this past year they made some really great improvements on um, like where if you get a problem wrong, the solution will or it will pop up directly to the part of the lecture in a previous lesson where you can go. So they, um, it's very easy to navigate. Um, what to do in elementary and middle Saxon to best lead up to Shorman high school years. So I would say if you want it to all seamlessly flow and you don't have to do it this way, but Shorman math was written off of the original teachings of John Saxon, not the current like recently revised ones. So if you wanted it to flow seamlessly, I would go back to those older editions and then in pre-algebra you could move on to Shorman math but you could also use another math program and and have them transition over at pre-algebra. I've done that and it's also been great. Um, how does their Algebra 1 course compare to the pre-algebra course? Well, pre-algebra is setting the foundation and Algebra 1 with geometry is just building off of that. So there's not some type of um, gigantic difference. It's really just the next step in math for your child and it's very seamless. Um, it's honestly not really any different at all other than the problems are a little bit different because now they have that pre-algebra understanding. Um, algebra 1 does have the geometry, half a credit of geometry woven into it, so there is that difference as well, but other than that, your child probably won't even notice. Um, the next one, do I feel Shorman is preparing students well for the ACT? 100% yes. There are over 200 um, SAT and ACT questions taken from those tests and put into Shorman math. And about 50% of the, your child's score on the SAT or ACT is based off of math. And Dr. Sherman feels very, very strongly about this. And there's a whole bunch of information on the website, which I will link down below for you guys to go check it out for yourselves. But yes, this is probably the best college preparatory math program for homeschoolers you can find. Um, what grade and subject do you recommend starting with them? So pre-algebra is where I would start for math and what grade that would be would be totally up to you. Um, somewhere between sixth and eighth grade I would say is in general when most kids are ready for pre-algebra. Do they have tutors with their online program? Yes, they have incredible support um, that you are able to receive if needed. I've had to call customer service a number of times and they've been very helpful. And then you can also um, get help with problems if your child is struggling. They have a lot of different resources on their website for that. Um, and they also have tons of information for placement exams so that you put your child in the right math and obviously if they're in the right level of math, they're going to struggle less. And so all of these things really just set you up to succeed. The last question here, my kid is doing teaching textbooks pre-algebra. It's working for us, but would Shorman math be better? Again, this is my personal experience. 
yes, teaching textbooks does not have a solid scope and sequence in their math. They are missing a bunch of information. Um, and as your child moves into higher level math, those missing pieces will become very evident. And so we left teaching textbooks for those reasons when my oldest daughter was going into Algebra 1, I had her redo Algebra 1 with Dr. Shorman because I was so upset with the lack um, with teaching textbooks and how frustrating it was for her, not because of her work ethic, but because it was missing such um, big pieces. And so I had her completely redo it with Dr. Shorman and it was the best decision we ever made. And thankfully my other kids because I learned that with her, they haven't had to have those same experiences. So that is the Q and A on Shorman Math. I'll link to the other videos that I've put up about uh, Shorman Math. I'll link to everything, their website, their placement exams, all of that down below for you guys. If you have any other questions on Shorman Math, please leave them down below. I hope this video was helpful to you. Give me a thumbs up if it was. It's a free way to support my channel and I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys again really soon. Bye friends.